of our podcast, episode number 30 with Andy Hare, Carpool Karaoke. You mentioned something uh, that's a real key buzzword at the moment and you're hearing it everywhere. Physical literacy, mate, what, what's your take on it and why is it so important? So, it is a, it, look, it's a prickly pear depending on where you are and who you talk to, but um, to me, physical literacy is what kids are being able to take away to make their life more fulfilled. And I, I, I ran a workshop a couple of nights ago at a school and, and one of the slides on there was titled uh, From the Egg to the Elite. And it was pretty much the, the, the concept of it was showing an egg, um, you know, a child being born. Yep. And then all these adventure activities that the kids can do. Um, and having the idea of what the end result is going to be really then allows us to fill those gaps and go okay if my child that I'm in care of wants to be an extreme um, kayaker down the Colorado River um, in America then they have to learn those concepts through it so they have to learn to swim they have to learn to kayak they have to learn to uh, to you know throw their body weight into different positions to be able to hold themselves upright um, they have to learn the cardiovascular fitness and, and all of those steps along the way and then each of those can then be broken down into um, you know a dozen two dozen three dozen levels of um, sorry mate uh, that's right everything's <laughs> going to come forward now <laughs> castle yeah sorry keep going yeah so they'll all be broken down to levels of attainment like stages of um, sequence that build through and it pairs right back then to where we can focus right down to you know an infant and before they walk and before they crawl then what happens through there really influences their pathway and growth through um, and we have to have a real self-centered approach for every individual child on that pathway because realistically we don't know what kids are going to do when they're adults so as educators we've got to give them as many opportunities to be skilled through multitasking and a wide range of experiences as we possibly can um, when i was head of pe at leopold primary school um, and you know you, you kind of had the handcuffs off a little bit more 10 years ago um, taking the kids for ocean swimming mountain biking adventure running was all part of um, what you're one doing. of my electives and yeah um, and without restrictions and parents would sign off on it and and those kids now I look at them and, and some of them are elite surf lifesavers and without that little experience or the, the opportunity to yep. um, then they may not have taken that pathway um, you know I had I've got two students now playing elite AFL and, and the same thing without that opportunity as a grade three or grade four to be um, involved in school sport uh, pathways then they may not have been given the exposure which could have added to their resume so when draft e clubs are looking for them to see if they've made a Those checklist life skills they have then um cool. and you know one of them is luke dalhouse which is you know gun bulldogs player last two rounds being Super knocked star. out bang bang um number six gun exactly yeah. and he was not he was um cut from the last round of the state school sport uh or school sport Victoria football team didn't make the final team now he's one of the elite players in the AFL however from that experience of being knocked back he was then able to take that and make Falcons underage team you yep. know, become best and fairest Leopold footy club go on to Western Bulldogs um, and so on and so on so premiership glory absolutely so you know physical literacy is is what what it is and but it's what we do and what we give to the kids really expand um, how, what the kids can do later in life. Cool. Yeah. Love it, mate. Epic. Nice work.